quote Ro Khanna, a man you know well, I assume you admire him, he's a Democrat, and he just said this, he said, people in need can't wait until February. $1.8 trillion is significant and more than twice the Obama stimulus. Make a deal, put the ball in McConnell court. So what do you say to Ro Khanna? What I say to you is, I don't know why you're always an apologist, and many of your colleagues Apologist for the Republican position. Rokana, that's nice. What's wrong with $1.8 trillion? Dollars? Well, I, you know what? Do you have any idea what the difference is between the spending that they have in their bill and that we have in our bill? Yesterday I spoke to Andrew Yang, who says the same thing. It's not everything you yeah, want, but, you know but what? there's you, a lot okay. there. Honest to God, you really, uh, I can't get over it because Andrew Yang, he's lovely. Yokana, Rokana, he's lovely. They are not negotiating this situation. They have no idea of the particulars. They have no idea of what the language is here. I didn't come over here to have, so you're the apologist for the Obama, excuse me, God forbid. Madam, Madam Speaker, I'm, God I'm not an apologist. Obama. I mean, serious questions, because so many people I'm are in desperate to you need if we, right now. Let me yeah. ask you this. Okay. When was the last time? Let me, you, let me respond well, to you. Let me you ask you, when was the last time, Madam questions. Speaker? I don't speak to the President. I speak to his, his not representative. Him? What makes me amused, if it weren't so sad, is how you all think that you know more about the suffering of the American people than those of us who are elected by them to represent them at that table. Is that what this is all about? Uh, not allow the president to take credit if there's a deal that no, will help I don't millions care about of Americans? That. What? No. With all due respect, with all due respect, and you know we've known each other a long time, you really don't know what you're talking about. And I have only the greatest back. respect so for you. So do the math. Madam we have Speaker, come down, I have only the greatest we have respect come down for you. Uh, I just want to point out that $1.8 trillion, $1.8 trillion is a lot of money. The American people need that money ASAP because they're suffering right now. And I, I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm and saying... And you don't care how it's spent. Well, and I, you don't care I care, how it's of course, spent. how it's spent. But again, you've been on JAG defending the administration all this time with no knowledge of the difference between our two bills. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to say that to you in person. Right. What the hell did I just watch? That's something that you just do not see from our media. Scrutiny and tough questions. I mean, not just the Democrats, but to Queen B. Pelosi. You can tell that she's just as stunned by the line of questioning from Blitzer. She's used to drooling lab dog interviews where they tear up to attack Trump and the Republicans. I could not stop laughing when she started calling Blitzer, Wolf Blitzer, an apologist for the Republican Party. I mean, what the hell? Wolf is a Democrat apologist 99.999% of the time. Very occasionally, we get these ultra rare token examples of the media actually applying its criticism consistently and fairly. I'm going to go back through all the sound bites that I found most interesting, but first just give me a quick moment to tell you about this special offer from My Patriot Supply. When you see what's going on in our country right now, there's plenty to be concerned about. Social unrest is making life very uncomfortable and it could quickly get worse. These are realistic dangers, so don't let yourself be caught unprepared. Here's what to do right now. Go to www.preparewithdronetech.com and start building your emergency food supply today. The experts at My Patriot Supply are the only people I trust and use. And right now, you can save $100 off a full four-week supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times. And saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The second half of 2020 is going to be wild. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and get ready right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Do it now. What I say to you is, I don't know why you're always an apologist. And many of your colleagues, apologists for the Republican position. <laughs> There she goes. Look, a guy who has a well-known record of being a Democrat party shill couldn't possibly be an apologist for the Republicans. Okay, a few things here. So she starts flying off the handle as soon as Blitzer brings up other Democrats like Ro Khanna who are breaking from Pelosi's strategy of keeping Trump from getting any sort of positive news by holding up this corona relief. Later, he brings up another Democrat, Andrew Yang, 
who's expressed interest in making a deal with the Republicans, and then immediately Pelosi flips out again, calling Blitzer an apologist and claiming that he has no idea what he's talking about. I spoke to Andrew Yang, who says the same thing. It's not everything you yeah, want, but, you know but what? there's You're, a lot okay. there. <laughs> Honest to God, you really, uh, can, I can't get over it because Andrew Yang, he's lovely. Ro Khanna, he's lovely. They are not negotiating this situation. They have no idea of the particulars. I didn't come over here to have you. So you're the apologist for the Obama, excuse me, God forbid. Madam, Madam Speaker, Thank I'm, God I'm, I'm not an apologist. I'm at I think she may have accidentally spoken some truth right there. Blitzer was and continues to be a Democrat Party Barack Obama apologist. So yeah, that was an interesting interview. Not sure why they suddenly came out swinging against Pelosi, because obviously she was just a surprise. It's just hilarious to me that anybody could like Nancy Pelosi. She's so utterly unlikable and so hypocritical and arrogant. Good for Blitzer bringing that out into the open for all to see. All she does is deflect blame and lie with that smile that looks like one of the aliens from They Live. The fact is, and everybody knows it, including Wolf Blitzer and CNN apparently, Pelosi's holding this bill up for one reason, to deny Trump a victory before the election. I think that's all I have to say about this interview. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.